The Bagrationi dynasty is a royal family that reigned in Georgia from the Middle Ages until the early 19th century, being among the oldest extant Christian ruling dynasties in the world. In modern usage, this royal line is often referred to as the Georgian Bagratids a Hellenized form of their dynastic name, also known in English as the Bagrations. The common origin with the Armenian Bagratuni dynasty has been accepted by several scholars however, other sources claim that dynasty to have had Georgian roots. Early Georgian Bagratids through dynastic marriage gained the Principality of Iberia after succeeding Chosroid dynasty at the end of the 8th century. In 888, the Georgian monarchy was restored and united various native polities into the Kingdom of Georgia, which prospered from the 11th to the 13th century. This period of time, particularly the reigns of David IV the Builder (1089–1125) and his great granddaughter Tamar the Great (1184–1213), inaugurated the Georgian Golden Age in the history of Georgia. After fragmentation of the unified Kingdom of Georgia in the late 15th century, the branches of the Bagrationi dynasty ruled the three breakaway Georgian kingdoms: Kingdom of Kartli, Kingdom of Kakheti, and Kingdom of Imereti, until Russian annexation in the early 19th century. While the Treaty of Georgiesk's third article guaranteed continued sovereignty for the Bagrationi dynasty and their continued presence on the Georgian throne, the Russian imperial crown later broke the terms of the treaty, and their treaty became an illegal annexation. The dynasty persisted within the Russian Empire as an imperial Russian noble family until the 1917 February Revolution. The establishment of Soviet rule in Georgia in 1921 forced some members of the family to accept demoted status and loss of property in Georgia. Others relocated to Western Europe, but some repatriated after Georgian independence in 1991. Origins <inaudible> 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 The earliest Georgian forms of the dynastic name are Bagratoniani, Bagrachiniani and Bagratovani, changed subsequently into Bagrationi. These names as well as the Armenian Bagratuni and the modern designation Bagratid mean, the children of Bagrat, or, the house of, established by Bagrat. According to a tradition first recorded in the work of the 11th century Georgian chronicler Sumbat Davidus Dze, and repeated much later by Prince Vikushti Bagrationi, the dynasty claimed descent from the biblical king and prophet David and came from Israel around 530 AD. The tradition had it that of seven refugee brothers of the Davidic line, three of them settled in Armenia and the other four arrived in Kartli also known as Iberia, where they intermarried with the local ruling houses and acquired some lands in hereditary possession, with one of the four brothers, Guram died in 532, founding a line subsequently called Bagrationi after his son Bagrat. A successor, Guram, was installed as a presiding prince of Kartli under the Byzantine protectorate, receiving on this occasion the Byzantine court title of Koropalates in 575. Thus, according to this version, began the dynasty of the Bagratids, who ruled until 1801. This tradition enjoyed a general acceptance until the early 20th century. The Jewish origin, let alone the biblical descent, of the Bagratids has been discounted by modern scholarship. Cyril Tumanov's research concluded that the Georgian Bagratids branched out of the Armenian Bagratid dynasty in the person of Adarnase, whose father Vasik, son of Ashat III the Blind, presiding prince of Armenia from 732 to 748, passed to Kartli following an abortive uprising against Arab rule in 775. Adarnase's son, Ashat I, acquired the principality of Kartli in 813 and thus founded the last royal house of Georgia. Accordingly, the legend of the Davidic origin of the Georgian Bagratids was a further development of the earlier claim entertained by the Armenian dynasty, as given in the work of the Armenian author Moses of Korin. Once the Georgian branch, which had quickly acculturated in the new environment, assumed royal power, the myth of their biblical origin helped to assert their legitimacy and became a major ideological pillar of the millennium-long Bagrationi rule in Georgia, although certain, the generation-by-generation -generation history of the Bagrationi dynasty begins only in the late 8th century. Tumanov claimed that the first Georgian branch of the Bagratids may be traced as far back as the 2nd century AD, when they were said to rule over the princedom of Ojerk in what is now southern Georgia. The Ojerk line, known in the medieval annals as the Bivrachianus, lasted until the 5th century AD. 
They cannot, however, be considered the direct ancestors of the later Bagratids who eventually restored Georgian royal authority. According to the Georgian historian Niko Berzenishvili, the illustrious dynasty of the Bagrationi originates in the most ancient Georgian district, Speri. Through their farsighted, flexible policies, the Bagrationi achieved great influence from the 6th through 8th centuries. One of their branches moved out to Armenia, the other to Georgian Kingdom of Iberia, and both won for themselves the dominant position among the other rulers of Transcaucasia. History Early dynasty The Bagrationi family had grown in prominence by the time the Georgian monarchy Caucasian Iberia fell to the Sassanid Persian Empire in the 6th century, and the leading local princely families were exhausted by Arab attacks. The rise of the new dynasty was made possible by the extinction of the Guaramids and the near extinction of the Chosroids, the two earlier Georgian dynasties with whom the Bagratids extensively intermarried, and also by the Abbasid preoccupation with their own civil wars and conflict with the Byzantine Empire. Although Arab rule did not allow them a foothold in the ancient capital of Tbilisi and eastern Kartli, the Bagratids successfully maintained their initial domain in Klarjeti and Mesketi and, under the Byzantine protectorate, extended their possessions southward into the northwestern Armenian marches to form a large polity conventionally known in modern history as Dao Klarjeti. In 813, the new dynasty acquired, with a shot eye, the hereditary title of presiding prince of Iberia Kartli, to which the emperor attached the honorific of Korapalates. Despite the revitalization of the monarchy, Georgian lands remained divided among rival authorities, with Tbilisi remaining in Arab hands. The sons and grandsons of Ashat I established three separate branches, the lines of Kartli, Dao, and Klarjeti, frequently struggling with each other and with neighboring rulers. The Kartli line prevailed, in 888, with Adarnay's I, it restored the indigenous Georgian royal authority dormant since 580. His descendant Bagrat III was able to consolidate his inheritance in Dao Klarjeti and the Abkhazian kingdom, due largely to the diplomacy and conquests of his energetic foster father David III of Dao. <laughs> Golden Age This unified monarchy maintained its precarious independence from the Byzantine and Seljuk empires throughout the 11th century, flourished under David IV the Builder 1089 who repelled the Seljuk attacks and essentially completed the unification of Georgia with the reconquest of Tbilisi in 1122. With the decline of Byzantine power and the dissolution of the Great Seljuk Empire, Georgia became one of the preeminent nations of the Christian East, her Pan-Caucasian Empire stretching, at its largest extent, from the North Caucasus to northern Iran, and eastwards into Asia Minor. In spite of repeated incidents of dynastic strife, the kingdom continued to prosper during the reigns of Demetrios I (1125–1156), George III (1156–1184), and especially his daughter Tamar the Great (1184–1213). With the death of George III, the main male line became extinct, and the dynasty continued through the marriage of Queen Tamar with the Alan Prince David Sislan, of reputed Bagratid descent. Topic. Downfall The invasions by the Khwarezmians in 1225 and the Mongols in 1236 terminated Georgia's Golden Age. The struggle against the Mongol rule created a diarchy, with an ambitious lateral branch of the Bagrationi dynasty holding sway over western Georgia Imereti. There was a brief period of reunion and revival under George V the Brilliant 1299 to 1302 1314 to 1346 but the eight onslaughts of the Turco-Mongol conqueror Timur between 1386 and 1403 dealt a great blow to the Georgian kingdom About a century later its unity was finally shattered by the aggressive in Persia based rivaling Turkic federations the Kara Koyunlu and the Ak Koyunlu by 1499 firsts, the once powerful monarchy fragmented into three independent kingdoms, Kartli central to eastern Georgia, Kakheti eastern Georgia, and Imereti western Georgia each led by a rival branch of the Bagrationi dynasty, and into five semi-independent principalities, Odishi Mingrelia, Guria, Abkhazia, Svaneti, and Samsk, dominated by their own feudal clans. 
During the three subsequent centuries, the Georgian rulers maintained their perilous autonomy as subjects under the Turkish Ottoman and Persian Safavid, Afsharid, and Qajar domination, although sometimes serving as little more than puppets in the hands of their powerful suzerains. In this period, in order to receive investiture from their suzerains, as a necessary prequisite, many Georgian rulers converted to Islam. The line of Imereti, incessantly embroiled in civil war, continued with many breaks in succession, and the kingdom was only relatively spared from the encroachments of its Ottoman suzerains, while Kartli and Kakheti were similarly subjected to its Persian overlords, whose efforts to annihilate the fractious vassal kingdoms were in vain, and the two eastern Georgian monarchies survived to be reunified in 1762 under King. Erikal II, who united in his person both the Cahitian and Kartlian lines, the latter surviving in male descent in the branch of Mukraneli since 1658. <laughs> Last monarchs In 1744, Erikal II and his father Timuraz II were granted the kingships of Kakheti and Kartli respectively by their overlord Nader Shah, as a reward for their loyalty. Following Nader Shah's death in 1747, Erikal II and Timuraz II capitalized on the eruption of instability, and declared de facto independence. After Timuraz II died in 1762, Erikal II succeeded his father as ruler of Kartli, and united the two kingdoms in a personal union as the Kingdom of Kartli Kakheti, becoming the first Georgian ruler to preside over a politically unified eastern Georgia in three centuries. At about the same time, Karim Khan Zand had ascended the Iranian throne. Erikal II quickly tendered his de jure submission to the new Iranian ruler, however, de facto, he remained autonomous throughout the entire Zand period. Erikal II Hercules achieved a degree of stability in Kartli Kakheti and established political hegemony in eastern Transcaucasia. In the 1783 Treaty of Georgiesk, he placed his kingdom under the protection of Imperial Russia. The latter failed, however, to provide timely help when the Persian ruler Aga Muhammad Khan Qajar captured, sacked and ravaged Tbilisi in 1795 to compel severance of Georgian ties to Russia, as he sought to re-establish Persia's traditional suzerainty over the region. After the death of Erikal in 1798, his son and successor, King George XII, renewed a request for protection from Emperor Paul I of Russia, and urged him to intervene in the bitter dynastic feud among the numerous sons and grandsons of the late Erikal. Paul offered to incorporate the kingdom of Kartli Kakheti into the Russian Empire, while reserving to its native dynasty a degree of internal autonomy, essentially, mediatization, and in 1799 the Russians marched into Tbilisi. Negotiations of terms were still in process, when Paul signed a manifesto on December 18, 1800, unilaterally declaring the annexation of Kartli Kakheti to the Russian Empire. This proclamation was kept secret until the death of King George on December 28. His eldest son, the Tsarevich David, had been formally acknowledged as heir apparent by Emperor Paul on 18 April 1799, but his accession as king after his father's death was not recognized. On September 12, 1801, Emperor Alexander I of Russia formally reaffirmed Paul's determination, deposing the Bagrationi dynasty from the Georgian throne. Although divided among themselves, some of the Bagrationi princes resisted Russian annexation, trying to instigate rebellion. Most of them were subsequently arrested and deported from Georgia. The reign of the House of Imereti came to an end less than a decade later. On April 25, 1804, the Imeretian King Solomon II, nominally an Ottoman vassal, was persuaded to conclude the Convention of Elisnauri with Russia, on terms similar to those of the Treaty of Georgiesk. Yet the Russian forces dethroned Solomon on February 20, 1810. Defeated during a subsequent rebellion to regain power, he died in exile in Trabzon, Ottoman Turkey, in 1815. Russian rule over Georgia was eventually acknowledged in various peace treaties with Iran and the Ottomans and the remaining Georgian territories were absorbed by the Russian Empire in a piecemeal fashion in the course of the 19th century. <laughs> Bagrationi in Russia In the Russian Empire the Bagrationis became a prominent family of aristocrats. The most famous was Prince Pyotr Bagration, a great-grandson of King Jesse of Kartli who became a Russian general and hero of the Patriotic War of 1812. 
His brother Prince Roman Bagration also became a Russian general, distinguishing himself in the Russo-Persian War 1826 and was the first to enter Yerevan in 1827. Roman Bagration was also known for his patronage of the arts, literature and theatre. His home theatre in Tbilisi was regarded as one of the finest in the Caucasus. His son Prince Pyotr Romanovich Bagration became governor of the Tver region and later governor-general of the Baltic provinces. He was also a metallurgic engineer known for the development of gold cyanidation in Russia. Prince Dmitry Petrovich Bagration was a Russian general who fought in World War I in the Brusilov Offensive and later joined the Red Army. <laughs> Bagrationi today The majority of the Bagrationi family left Georgia after the Red Army took over Tbilisi in 1921. Topic: <inaudible> Mukhrani branch. Whereas the Bagration Mukhranelli were a cadet branch of the former Royal House of Kartli, they became the genealogically seniormost line of the Bagrationi family in the early 20th century, yet this elder branch had lost the rule of Kartli by 1724, retaining that of the Principality of Mukhrani until its annexation by Russia along with Kartli Kakheti in 1800. A member of this branch, Princess Leonida Georgievna Bagration Mukharansky, married Vladimir Cyrilovich, Grand Duke of Russia, and became the mother of one of the claimants to the Romanov legacy, Maria Vladimirovna, Grand Duchess of Russia, in 1942 Prince Irakli Bagrationi Mukraneli, of the genealogically senior branch of the dynasty, proclaimed himself head of the Royal House of Georgia, in the absence of evidence that Bagrationis of the Cahitian branch which had reigned until 1801 still survived behind the Iron Curtain. He founded the Union of Georgian Traditionalists in Exile. His second wife, Maria Antonietta Pasquini, daughter of Hugo, Count di Costafiorita, bore him a son and heir, but died in childbirth in February 1944. In August 1946 the widower married Princess Maria Mercedes de Baviera y Bourbon, a granddaughter of King Alfonso XII, and daughter of Don Fernando de Baviera y Bourbon, who had renounced his royal rights in Bavaria to become a naturalized infante in Spain. Beginning in the 1990s, senior members of the Bagrationi Mukranelli descendants began repatriating to Georgia from Spain, ending generations of exile. Iraqli's elder son, Prince Georgi Bagrationi Mukranelli, was officially recognized by government and church leaders when he brought his father's remains from Spain to rest with those of his ancestors in Svetitshaveli Cathedral at Mts Keta in 1995, and took up residence in Tbilisi in 2005, where he died. His eldest son, Prince Irakli born 1972, moved to Georgia in 1999 and, although previously embraced as a future pretender to the throne by some Georgian monarchists, has moved back to Spain and deferred his own dynastic claim, since the death of his father in 2008, to that of his younger brother, Prince David born 1976. David took up residence in Tbilisi, obtained Georgian citizenship, claimed the Mukraneli dynastic titles, and became head of the family council. The Bagration Mukraneli is the senior surviving legitimate branch of the Bagration patrilineage, descending directly from King Constantine II of Georgia. Nonetheless, mitigating the claim of Prince David Bagrationi Mukraneli to the Georgian throne is the fact that the Mukraneli branch has not reigned as kings in Georgia since the 18th century. <laughs> Gruzinsky branch The Bagration Gruzinsky line, although junior to the princes of Mukhrani genealogically, reigned over the Kingdom of Kakheti, reunited the two realms in the Kingdom of Kartli Kakheti in 1762, and did not lose sovereignty until Russian annexation in 1800. Prince Nugzer Petrovich Bagration Gruzinsky is the most senior known patrilineal descendant of Kartli Kakheti's last king, George XII, and is, as such, head of the Cahitian branch of the dynasty, which, although genealogically junior to the Mukhrani, has reigned more recently, not having lost the throne of a Georgian kingdom until 1800. Nugzer is well known in Georgia because he has lived his entire life in Tbilisi, and experienced with other Georgians both the country's subordination to the Soviet regime and its liberation since 1991. A theatrical and cinema director, his father, Prince Petra Bagration Gruzinsky, was a poet, and authored lyrics to the anthem, Song of Tiflis 
As Nugzer has no male issue, Prince Yevgeny Petrovich Gruzinsky, born 1947, the great great grandson of Bagrat's younger brother Ilya, who lives in the Russian Federation, is considered to be an heir presumptive within the same primogeniture principle. Nugzer himself argues in favor of having his eldest daughter, Anna, designated as his heir. Imereti branch Various sources present three different lines as the head of the House of Imereti, potential claimants to the long-defunct Kingdom of Imereti, the last of the three Georgian kingdoms to lose its independence in 1810. The male line descending from the deposed David II of Imereti became extinct in 1978 when Prince Konstantin Imeretinsky died. He was survived by three daughters of his older brother. However, Prince Nugzer Petrovich Bagration Gruzinsky claims that the headship of the Imereti branch had, for one reason or another, transferred in the early 20th century to a cadet branch descending from an older son of Prince Bagrat of Imereti. This branch died out in the male line in 1937 and in the female line in 2009. The third claim names another branch descending from Prince Bagrat's younger son as heir to headship of the house. This line survives in the male line and is headed by Prince David Bagrationi born 1948 not to be confused with his younger namesake from the Mukrani branch. Topic: <laughs> Union of Bagrationi branches. Prince Nugzar's daughter, Princess Anna, a divorced teacher and journalist with two daughters, married Prince David Bagrationi Mukranelli, on 8 February 2009 at the Tbilisi Samiba Cathedral. The marriage united the Gruzinski and Mukrani branches of the Georgian royal family, and drew a crowd of 3,000 spectators, officials, and foreign diplomats, as well as extensive coverage by the Georgian media. The dynastic significance of the wedding lay in the fact that, amidst the turmoil in political partisanship that has roiled Georgia since its independence in 1991, Patriarch Ilya II of Georgia publicly called for restoration of the monarchy as a path toward national unity in October 2007. Although this led some politicians and parties to entertain the notion of a Georgian constitutional monarchy, competition arose among the old dynasty's princes and supporters, as historians and jurists debated which Bagrationi has the strongest hereditary right to a throne that has been vacant for two centuries. Although some Georgian monarchists support the Gruzinsky branch's claim, others support that of the repatriated Mukraneli branch. Both branches descend from the medieval kings of Georgia down to Constantine II of Georgia who died in 1505, and continue an unbroken, legitimate male line into the 21st century. David is the only member of his branch who retains Georgian citizenship and residence since the death of his father, Prince George Bagration Mukraneli in 2008. Aside from his unmarried elder brother Irakli, David is the heir male of the Bagrationi family, while the bride's father is the most senior descendant of the last Bagrationi to reign over the United Kingdom of Eastern Georgia. The marriage between Nugzer Gruzinski's heiress and the Mukrani heir may resolve their rivalry for the claim to the throne. Prince David and Princess Anna became the parents of a boy on the 27th of September 2011. Prince Georgi Bagration Bagrationi, who, in his person, potentially unites the Mukraneli and Gruzinski claims. If no other Bagrationi prince is born in either the Gruzinski or Mukraneli branch who is of senior descent by primogeniture, and he survives those now living, Prince Georgi will become the heir male of the House of Bagrationi and the heir general of George XIII of Georgia. <laughs> Gallery of some Georgian monarchs of Bagrationi dynasty See also Line of succession to the former Georgian throne Georgian monarch's family tree of Bagrationi dynasty Georgian monarch's family tree of Bagrationi dynasty of Kartli Georgian monarch's family tree of Bagrationi dynasty of Kakheti Georgian monarch's family tree of Bagrationi dynasty of Imereti Monarchism in Georgia <laughs>